Hey guys, so uh, it's Ketchup here and today we'll be looking at some juicy stuff because we're gonna be looking at the top 20 anime of the season this summer 2020 and <coughs> it's according to my anime list and I know not everyone has my anime list as their like uh, what they call this their listing system but uh, try my anime list if you want to list the animes that you watch and will watch or don't want to watch because it's a really good site uh, and yeah let's just jump right into the uh, to the, the rankings I actually haven't looked into this but I took a little little pick like it's a little one so the top 20 is Ninja Collection which is I haven't watched and uh, I barely even watch anything this season except for or the girlfriend and apparently the the episode 10 score was 3.36 I don't know what that means because the rest are like final score and stuff like that and man <laughs> there are some awful scores here and I'm assuming these are like the the, sh the shows that ended this season because uh, th the score for Ninja Collection is 3.36 which is why like I'm not really interested in watching it especially when it got like 3.36 in scores so uh, yeah I mean to be fair there aren't really many shows this season that's why it probably made the top 20 so yeah let's go up to top 19 which is GB8 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 wait wait isn't this the, the, the virus thingy because when I was watching a video of Ma the, the anime man, which like the uh, summer 2020, what will I be watching thing, the I found the like the summary very very interesting because apparently it's about the virus and it in my head is like <coughs> Corona. Apparently it got 4.01 in scores and the score change is negative. I don't. I'm not even gonna try to. Apparently it scored that low, which is like. I know a 5 is average in my anime list and 4 and below is like bad so uh, man I good thing I didn't watch it uh, number 18 is Kyojin Zoku no Hanayome with the score of 5.21 and it's in the top 18 which uh, again I haven't seen uh, to be honest I thought at first it said Gotobun no Hanayome which may as you're playing with me uh, yeah, I really have nothing much to say because I really haven't watched it and I don't really want to judge but apparently it got an average score because 5 is the average as, as I said earlier. Number 17 is Peter Grill to Kenja no Chikan, which again with the final score of 5.56 and I haven't watched it. Wow. Again, I haven't really watched it so I'm not gonna say much about it and I haven't really seen about much about it. I haven't even really like seen anyone talk about it that much. And number 16 is Doki <laughs> Oh my god. Doku Hentai X Herosu. Okay. So I heard uh, it's a, the final score is 5.78 and I heard that it's apparently a hentai. And I don't know why it got that score. I mean, it's 5.78, it's average, but in my anime list, usually you see somewhere around seven or something when it, the show is just average. But I mean, I guess people really didn't want to watch a show that's average and waste their time. So yeah, let's go on to the next one, which is number 15, Umayon. I haven't heard any of the shows yet. So with this one, the final score is 6.05, which is, I mean, it's one point higher than the, the last one. And the, and the difference between the 15 and 20 is like three points. So uh, again, I haven't heard of it and I have never even heard anyone talk about it, even in YouTube and Facebook on Twitter and Instagram. I haven't seen any of it. So uh, I'm gonna, you know, I really don't know what to say about it. So let's move on to the next one, which is number 14, Koito Producer. Pro I, I pronounced that very weird. Koito Producer, Evol, Evol, Evol X Love, or Evol Love, because sometimes people don't pronounce X like in Hunter Hunter. It has the final score of 16.13, which is just a little bit of decimal points above from number 15 and again I've heard of it I've heard of it but 
I really think it's not up into my alley because I think people are telling me that, that it's very average as well. It probably got like 6.13, which is fine. Yeah, let's go on to the number 13, which is Monster Musume no Oishisa. Oi, wait. Monster Musume no Oishisan, which is. I think it's a season 2 or 3 to the Monster Musume thing, but again, I haven't watched Monster Musume because it looked like the very, very, very typical rom com, which I'm not really interested in. And again, it had 16.49 in the final score. I mean, this is uh, October something when this was recorded, so this the scores can still go up and go down. But uh, as for uh, the fall, uh, uh, summer 2020 season, it's 14, which, oh uh, wait, no, 13. And again, we're already for like five or six shows and I haven't seen anything. Number 12 is Lapis Relights. It has 6.55 in the final score and I haven't watched it. I, haven't, I don't think I even watched any of this in the show. Why am I even doing this video? And... Number 11 is Muhio Toroji no Mahoritsu Sodan Jimusho, second season. Again, it has the final score of 6.74 and I haven't watched it. We've been to like 10 shows and I still haven't watched one. Wow. And now we're going to top 10. And top 10 is No Guns Life second season with a final score of 7.09 which is pretty fairly sad for No Game No Life fans because I've seen so many memes about it like when people were like No Game No Life No Guns Life and again I haven't seen it but I've seen many people talk about it and with the score of 7.09 I think it's very average because 7.9 is good I think in the my anime listing and we're going to number nine which is i finally finally watched something which is uzaki chan wa asobitai with a 7.12 score in the final score which is again i think kind of high because i scored it like a five or a six and i think it deserves somewhere around six but a lot of people rate in my anime list that's i think seven is the average because they don't really look at the like the signs and thing but then again, it reached nine. Uh, it's it's memeable. It's it's everywhere. Everywhere I go, I see her face, and uh, so I think it's kind of deserving. But, but, so number eight is the God of High School. <sighs> so I tried to like look at some clips on YouTube because of the last video I made. Uh, no, not last video. The last last video. No, wait, wait. It's boring. That's it, don't attack me in the comments. Number seven is Kanojo o Karishimas with the final score of 7.37. I don't even know why I made this video if this gonna rank at this point. For me, I rated it in the my anime list for eight, I think, because I really, really liked it. And I, when I opened my Facebook, man, I'm just full of spoilers in the manga. And I really think that it deserves to be at least in the top five, but I guess not. But, oh wait, I just saw this. I just saw this. Number... Are you serious? Number six is... I can't... I, I can't zoom! Number six is... I got... <sighs> Why? It's Maoga Queen of Tekigosha. <sighs> Who... Why did this ranked more? or rank higher than Kanojo Karishimas. I am starting to question everybody's taste in anime. And again, people are saying uh, Kanojo Karishimas is like, uh, you know, that harem trash. Everybody wants to call it that. But I really think uh, th this, like, the Maoga Queen no Tekigosha is like that typical cliche light novel trash. I'm serious. I've tried to watch it because I've tried to look at some uh, YouTube clips because sometimes if what I see in YouTube is pretty good because I know the, I know the plot so I don't really need to start from episode 1 but uh, I don't really think it deserves to be hired it's in the top 6 okay good it didn't top, top 5 
But oh no. Oh no. Top 5 is Sword Art Online Alice's Asian War of Underworld second season. I only watched 8 episodes in, uh, in Sword Art Online the first season. I really got into Sword Art Online. I was like, why are people hating this? But when the more and more that I watch Sword Art Online, I just. Yep. Number 4 is Decadence with a final score of 7.57. Again, I haven't watched Decadence, but I've heard a lot about it and people are saying it's underrated and stuff like that. But I really can't judge because I really haven't seen it. So we're going up to top 3, which is Enosho Gutai Ni no Sho, which I think I pronounced that very weird. It's very basically Fire Force second season set with 7.81. And uh, I mean, what can I say? It's... Now... We're, we're, this one is the top two and one so this one is like a uh, kind of compelling because people are one to be honest to be fair I think I wanted top two to be the top one but the top two is Yahari Ore no Seishin Rabuko Me Wa which is basically the last season of Oregairu with the 8.55 as the final score uh uh well to be fair it's only point ten. Uh, different score difference from the top one but I mean I'm sure you guys already guessed what the top one is because obviously what other shows could there be that could be in the top one and uh, top to uh, Oregairu which is basically ReZero ReZero uh, scored with the final score of 8.65 which is I mean mm, to be fair, I like the first season more because I think it they really did a good job like exploring what the world is like. But if you're gonna ask me what's my favorite isekai, it's not gonna be ReZero. It's probably gonna be like Shield Hero or what you what's that again? The Lolly the Lolly what's that? The Lolly Soldier. Oh Tanya, yeah. Tanya, Saga of the Tanya the Evil. And I mean, I, I guess it's kind of pretty deserving, but I really wanted Oregairu to be in the top one, if not Rent the Girlfriend. So yeah, that's it. That's basically the top 20 anime this summer 2020 according to my anime list as of October. October or September? But yeah, so what do you guys think about the rankings? I personally think... <laughs> I'm probably gonna get so much hate for this, but for the top 5, I'm probably gonna put... Rent a Girlfriend <laughs> and uh, Oregairu for 2 and then 3 is uh, what's this? ReZero and then for number 4 I'm not sure I'm probably gonna put Fire Force or Decadence because I've really heard a lot of good things about it but I haven't really watched it because I've only watched this season I've only watched ReZero last uh, second season and Oregairu last season Kanajo Karishimas and Uzaki-chan so I really can't say much about it because I've only watched like 4 shows and there's like 20 here. So yeah, I really want to know what your guys thoughts about this because I mean, to be fair, a lot of people use my anime list now and we can I guess call it a little trustworthy. So yeah, uh, what do you guys think about the rankings? Tell me what you think should be in the top 1 or top 10 in the comment section below. If you find the one, you should never give her up. I think it's the way life changes when in love, yeah I surround my soul with the positivity 